Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and I'm back with another episode of Inside the Network where we share exclusive content from inside of brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, for this clip right here, there's a snippet from an artist by the name of J.O. Right? You might have seen me have conversations with J.O. before. Really dope interview and perspective. I'm excited to share how he blew up on TikTok actually using his nine to five job and he has a ton of tips and perspective that I think is worth hearing. Check it out. I actually, um, everybody that like comes and asks me, because literally I posted one day, I said, wow, I posted on my Instagram, I said, wow, thank you guys for 30K on TikTok, this is crazy. The next day I had 45,000. And literally wow. after that, like I got like five, six texts from actual friends, like, hey, I'm serious now, can you help me out? And it's like, some people wanted to listen. Some people were just like, oh, I'm not sure. But first thing I did was send your video. It's like, I'm like, start off with this. And if you can't even watch these and have the time to do a little research, like I'm not going to waste my time yeah. giving you a lot of energy, you know? So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to be serious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and of course, that's definitely attracting people. Once they see you moving, they're like, okay, yeah. hold up, hold up, hold up. Why, <laughs> why yeah, is it happening exactly. to him and not exactly. me? <laughs> exactly, exactly. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people posting. They're like, yeah, I'm doing this. I'm posting every day because Gary Vee said so or whatever. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing this on TikTok. And they've had a TikTok longer than me. And I'm like, well, you got to post content that's shareable. It's not just about being consistent. Consistency is important, but consistent and shareable is even more important. Let's go deeper into that for a second because, man, I've, I've had people that listen to me just not see, see, even seen the videos, just like, yo, I say, yo, get on TikTok. And yeah. then when I say that, they will, they'll be like, well, I tried maybe even before I told them. And they'll be like, yeah, you know, I, I posted some videos and they didn't really do anything. I, I, I couldn't really um, fill it out. And I'm like, what'd you post? And they're like, oh yeah, I post the promo for my video. I'm like, bro, you, you can't start there. You can't, you, <laughs> yeah. you can't just That's start. Actually <laughs> yeah, that's actually crucial. So when first thing I do when I try to help people out, stop posting Instagram stuff, stop posting YouTube stuff on TikTok. Each entire yeah. app has its own entity. Make content for Instagram, make content for YouTube, make content for TikTok. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come to TikTok like, like oh, I know what I'm going to know what I'm going to post. Like, did it, and you haven't even done those three days of research at all. Like, I'm, I was watching the app. I was seeing what was trending. I was only liking stuff I liked so that only more trending stuff will come up and see like, okay, this is how people shoot. This is how people direct themselves. This is how things look on TikTok. So that way I can match that look. Because first thing I did when I did hop on after those first two videos, I have three tanks of videos. And actually, they're still up where I posted just like, my old covers from YouTube and Instagram, I literally just shared the same cover on there and it does, it's not full screen. So, you know, it has a full screen format and I have like these little box videos in there and those mm -hmm. didn't do well. I mean, people were commenting and stuff and like, oh, wow, these are good songs, but it's like, it wasn't viral material at all. And then right mm -hmm. after I hit it with a video like, hey, I was literally in my classroom during my free period. I usually do this during my free period if I get one. And I was just like, hey, um, I'm a substitute teacher. I actually didn't even say words. I wrote this all out on the screen. Like I'm a substitute teacher and I'm stuck in this classroom. Help get me out. <laughs> I was like, I'm actually making music. Like go check it out. I kid you not. That got to like 50,000 views. And then a bunch of people were saying, I'm I, I checking out your Spotify. And then that triggered Spotify's algorithm. And I went from like 4,000 monthly listeners to 7,000 monthly listeners like that. And it was <laughs> like, oh my gosh, like it was crazy. So, so. I'll I'm going to say this right here for anybody who's listening. It's actually not alarming. It's amazing to me when it comes to TikTok. It's the best platform I've seen in a long time in terms of converting people from TikTok to another platform. It's hard Facts. to get people to go from Facts. Instagram to YouTube, yeah. Instagram to Spotify, even if you're running an ad. Yeah. Like people will go to your YouTube page from TikTok. They will go to your Instagram mm -hmm. from TikTok. They mm -hmm. will go to your, your Spotify, whatever. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's your, a different space. It's directly there. You could put your Instagram, your YouTube. I honestly just put my Instagram because if you put your YouTube and Instagram, it just has the YouTube logo over it and people have to tap it. So I just put the Instagram. That's like my own thing just so people can go there. And, I'm, and also I'm not consistent on YouTube right now. I'm going to get back into it probably uh, really soon. So, um, but yeah, I just did that. And Spotify, I don't even have a link. People just went and searched me up. 
and people were commenting like, what's his username? And it's like, oh, it's the same as his, his at, like, just look at Like they're all helping each other out to find my music and like, we're going to help him out. That's how yeah. eager they are. It's a, it's a weird <laughs> space, man. And look, a, <laughs> people are invested in TikTok. Yeah, like, especially fans. middle schoolers, like middle schoolers, they have not seen anything like, especially because all the millennials are hesitant, right? This is all yeah. Gen Z right now. So Gen Z's yeah. on there. And all the middle schoolers are just like, oh my gosh, this is talent. Like, da 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 da. I'm telling you, <laughs> like, <laughs> you could be yeah. pretty average and they'll still love it if you just got like semi talent, like, because it's like something new they haven't seen, honestly. But even with amazing talent, now it's like, oh, wow, like, I really haven't seen this, like, you know? So, mm -hmm. uh, and it's crazy, like, I, because I'm a sub, so I'm all over at different schools and uh, I didn't realize the, the TikTok clout till I got to um, one of the middle schools I sub at, because I usually do high school. And man, they were, <laughs> is that jail? Oh my gosh, jail, Mr. Jail, jail. <laughs> Literally, I thought it was just a one day thing. I've been at this school for like a long-term assignment, 20 days, every single day. I'm like, I'd be feeling like the man when I walk around. <laughs> like, <laughs> all these kids, Rich like, homie. all these kids just like running, like, can I get your autograph? Like, da -da 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 -da. that's hilarious. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's hey, that's crazy. I believe you, though, man. Look, the high school is probably recognizing too, man. Yeah, but, you I know, just, yeah. if they're too cool at that age. They... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I might have a high school assignment after this, and I'll see how it is. But because I recently looked like cross platform, so that's really what like took me off. So, <laughs> what do you mean by that? When you say that, what happened? Oh, so uh, I posted a video of. Uh, I did a funny veil video like POV, you're the barber and I don't lose eye contact. So like someone. Oh yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that and I honestly didn't expect it to blow up. I was just doing a trend. Everybody was doing POV at the time. So I was like, you know, let me think of some POVs. And that was one. And I, actually what I've done that's helped me, I literally go to my phone and write like when I come up with an idea, I write it down and just have a list of TikTok ideas. So anybody that wants to start do that all right now if you want to check out that entire interview you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com man this entire interview is extremely worth it his perspective in the entire story is extremely worth it i encourage artists not to be afraid of tiktok or look look wrong at tiktok thinking that it's all about the kids and that there's no back-end benefit because i can tell you there is a groundswell of maybe sometimes with some of the artists that i've worked with it'll start with like this these lower range or these younger people but then it, that'll help it get in front of older people because of how these algorithms work on spotify right so it's something to consider i've seen a ton of results I had artists that i've been working with now they probably had 20k plus listens on spotify in just a few weeks in a short period of time of just running a tiktok campaign where we have maybe about six thousand views right now or 5,000 videos, not views, videos created to the actual um, song snippet of hers at the time. So really consider that because there's real results outside of TikTok. I, got, I can't stress that enough. There's a lot of real results outside of TikTok. People are so caught up in not wanting to be on TikTok or, oh, that's not me. And um, no, there's real results that translate right back to your music in ways that does not happen on Instagram, does not happen on Facebook, YouTube, and almost has never been able to happen so transferably and so easy without you having to pay money. Um, and if you're interested in getting any type of consultation with TikTok, we actually have access to that that you can check out in the link in the description below. I have a ton of knowledge from all the campaigns that I've been doing with me and just some other people that I know. But other than that, as always, if you like this video, go ahead to like button. If you like it, you might as well share. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.